Hello YouTube, Luke 5 here. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to build a compact lever combination lock. So it basically, you just have your levers and you press the button to open it. Go through, step on the pressure plates to close it. And if you have the wrong combo, the levers or the door won't open. You have to have the right combo. So this is basically it's it's pretty small. It's six by six by three. I mean six by six by four. Uh, one two three four five six. Some of the wiring goes down to there. And there's the double door wiring, but I didn't really count that. And it's six wide, six length, and four high. There's also I mean I've me and me and my uh, friend Jake Bubjo right there designed this, and we did a lot of prototypes stuff like that. A lot of like bigger ones like over here. But we've whittled it down to six by six by four. Uh, yeah. Anyway, let's learn how to build it. So I'm gonna go into single player and go into my redstone world. Okay, so I find a good spot, and we're just gonna start building this. So first of all, you wanna make a six by two wall. And for this tutorial, I'm gonna be using five levers, but you can use however many you want. You just have to edit it a little. But okay, so just put your five levers and on the left side put a button. But now we want to choose the combination. So I'm gonna put these two down. So we're gonna go to the back and put redstone torches behind the levers that we put down. And they should be off. And turn these levers down so they'll turn off. And then behind all the levers that you don't want down, put a block and put redstone on it. And put redstone beneath the torches as well, like that. And then off the far right block, put a piece of redstone and put a block and put a torch on it, like that. And if you have a torch on this block, then you're going to want to go down and dig down that block and then put a torch right there. But that's not the tutorial. So when we turn one of these levers off, that torch goes off. See? So now we want to make the AND gate. What the AND gate does is it's going to check to make sure the levers are in the correct combination, then it's going to check to make sure the button is pressed, and then if it's alright, it's going to activate the RS NOR and it's going to open the door. So to make the AND gate, I want to put a block on top of this redstone torch, and make it three wide, and then put torches there, there, and on the far side, and then connect them with redstone. So as you can see, this one is off. And when this torch is also turned off, then this torch is going to turn on. So we want to connect it so that torch can turn off. So we need to connect it to the button right here. So put a block behind the button. And put a redstone repeater facing the button. So this little thing that moves is facing the button. And then just follow along as I build. So you're going to have it like that connect it up there and then instead of just going like that go down one like that that's the only way you can change the state of that redstone torch you can see if we go like this the redstone torch is going to turn this stuff on and it's not going to work so you have to go down like that and I'm just going to get rid of all this extra block stuff okay so now if we press this button that torch turns off and you can see that torch is off right now. See, it turns on. So now we want to do the RS NOR latch, which basically holds a state. So it's either going to be, well, it's kind of hard to explain. So let's just build it. Put some redstone there. And then build your RS NOR latch like this. So one of these sides is going to be on, one is going to be off. And when that turns on, one of the sides is going to toggle. So one side is always going to be on, one side is always going to be off. Okay. So see that side's off. When we press the button, that side's off. So in order to fix that, this is what the pressure plate's going to be for. Right here. 
see that side turns on so you're going to step on these pressure plates when you come through the door and that's going to toggle it and it's going to shut the door so you can see that side's on press the button that side's off but we'll do that in a little bit right now we want to make the door and the door circuit so I'm going to be using double doors so you want to get your doors iron doors and if you see you can see here this little latch thing is on the right side which you don't want so you want to destroy that and put it down again so it's on the left side otherwise it'll mess everything up so now we're going to make the double door circuit so dig down and then beneath your doors put two redstone torches and one door should open and one door should stay st shut and then to make your simple double door latch opener thing just follow along like so so you're going to put a, a uh, inverter on the right side and just connect that to one redstone torch and on this side put a redstone repeater connect that to the redstone torch and just connect it like this so when we power this See the doors are closed, we power it, the doors are both open. So now we need to connect this to the RS NOR latch. So come over here and press the button just to make sure. And note that this side is on. So we need to connect this side to the double door circuit. So you can just dig down like so. And I'm destroying that so I can get three down. Like this. And just dig over a little bit and now we're gonna come back over here to the double doors and go down in here and just dig this way for a bit until we find this and then just connect this over here to the RS NOR and then make sure you place this block otherwise it won't work make sure you place that block so now if we come over here press the button the door is open which is exactly what we want so now we need to make the pressure plates that close the door so no one else can get in. So you can just put them back here a little bit. And when you dig down under them, and put two redstone. So we need to connect this redstone to right here. So, oops. You can just connect it to the back of this block. And connect it like that, pretty simple cover this up. So now when we go on these pressure plates, the doors close. And now you can wall off all of this area right here. And they can't see it. So you're going to have like a two a quarter corridor right here. And they won't be able to see the redstone. So again, if we have the wrong combination, press the button, the door doesn't open. But if we have the right combination, the door does open. And we step on the pressure plates to close the door. So I hope this helped you. I hope it was pretty easy to follow. It looks complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. And yeah, that's the tutorial on how to make a compact combination lock with five levers. But again, you can use as many levers as you want. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.